Hi, everybody. Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful project to share with you featuring the Heartstream Wafer Die. It was just released, part of the Sending Sunshine release with Simon Says Stamp. And I am whacking this on my grid mat here, popping it out. That's my very scientific, professional method of getting my die cuts out of the dies. I whack it on my grid mat. And if that doesn't work, then I hurl it onto the floor and sometimes it pops out. If that doesn't work, my last resort is to get my retractable needle tool and poke it out the proper way. Okay, just keeping it real. So once I die cut about four or five of these, I'm gonna color each of the hearts using my Copic markers. And I got my marker caps right up above there. You can see exactly which colors I'm using. I do two colors for each heart, a lighter one, and then a darker one. So I color the entire heart with the lightest color. This would be the Y, the YR00. Then I take the YR02, do a little shading, the darker color, a little shading along the bottom of the heart. Then I go back in with the light color and I blend it out. Super easy. You can do this with lots of different mediums. If you don't want to use Copics, you can use your Zig Clean Color Markers. You can use watercolors. You can use color pencils. Um, anyway, these are some of my favorite colors that I'm using right now. These are like my go-to Copic colors that I use most often. So first I did the red, orange, and yellow. Now I'm doing the green, aqua, blue, and a little purple. I've got my daughter hooked on these Copic markers, these specific colors, um, too. She's been hot on coloring the new Susie Sweet Treats paintable cards. And she's been using these Copic markers, specifically these colors, and having a ball, she's just about gone through half of my paintable cards. If you can believe that. She just gets in a zone and she loves the, the theme of the donuts and the ice creams and the sweet treats. And I think I'm going to have to order a few packs of those cards because they are a hit with the girls. It's like, it's like therapy to her. I can tell when she sits down. She kind of gets into the zone and, and then she becomes a chatterbox and tells me all kinds of things of what's going on at school. And she is graduating in two days from eighth grade. I just can't believe how fast time goes. I'm going to have another high schooler. What I'm going to have is two daughters in high school at the same time, a senior and a freshman. So I would appreciate your prayers, please, that we could all survive because everyone's wanting to share everyone's clothes. And some are more generous than others, if you know what I'm saying. Some share more, and then now they're getting into my closet, which my clothes are not very exciting for the teenage style, but whatever the case, uh, I colored all the hearts, put little slivers of foam tape on the back of them. I'm popping them up onto a cream card base. It's like little streamers of rainbow heart confetti and then I'll take my big mama paper trimmer here, trim off the excess that's hanging off the sides. I can't recommend these tonic um, paper trimmers enough. They are so sharp, and I don't know how I would ever survive without one of these. And then lastly, we're going to add the sentiment. I'm going to be using the Love You Too word dies. Uh, these were designed by the one and only Katha Zilski. They're part of the Sending Sunshine release as well so i die cut the outline in white i die cut the word die out of slate cardstock i'm going to adhere this adhere the slate to the white i'm using the little lawn fawn glue tube which i am loving lately what i do is i take a little scrap of card i kind of tap my word die on there to get any excess glue that might ooze out the sides off and that seems to work good for me now you got to adhere the y o and u each separately again tapping the excess glue off Normally, I would use black cardstock, and I always use black and white when I have a colorful card. This time, I chose to use slate and white just to shake it up a little bit. I felt like the card was very soft and pastel-y, so going with the slate made it just a smidge softer than black. Not much, but just a twinge lighter. And then to add a little bit of shimmer, a little shimmer and shine, I'm going to take my Wink of Stella glitter pen and color each one of these hearts just lightly and i love this is the only wink of stella i have is the clear the glitter i love it to add a little bit of shimmer not too much just enough and then to finish it off a few little sequins on the hearts i'm using coordinating colors for each heart so it's not really distracting like a 
a yellow sequin on a yellow heart, a pink sequin on a pink heart. And I use some of the new Simon Says Stamp sequins. The Pool Party sequin pack has a gorgeous bright orange sequin that I love, as well as the Pool Party had the great aqua. This card is finished. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.